should you stretch before your workout or after your workout okay so this is really important stuff because it could really make or break the efficiency of your workout so stretching in itself isn't necessary before or after workouts okay that's just something i want to say kind of right off the bat people will think that they need to be doing stretching well here's the deal you don't it may be a decent idea though to add a certain type of stretching which we'll discuss in a second so static stretching in particular before working out can be especially bad because this can decrease the overall performance of the given muscle. So generally a warm up and a cool down to some degree is recommended. Um, so the cool down might be a good place to actually have some uh, static stretching and the warm up um, is more of a general warm up and we'll kind of uh, talk about that too. But certain types of stretching can be applied or should be applied before and after your workout if you have time. So usually when I talk about a warm up, this consists of what we call dynamic stretching. And dynamic stretching is basically moving your joints through a very large range of motion and through a lot of different, uh, sometimes funky looking exercises. So an example of a dynamic stretch might be a body weight lunge where then you are reaching up to the sky and turning to the side. So if you think about it, you're working your legs, you're working your arms, you're working your core, you're working every single component of your body essentially, but it's very uh, light, it's very passive, um, and it's technically not really a stretch, but that is what we call dynamic stretches. So this would be a good thing to implement in your warm up. On top of that, you could also do something like some light jogging, uh, maybe even some light walking. If you aren't fully up to doing jogging yet, that's totally okay. And maybe you also in your warm up are going to practice the movements that you would normally do in your workout. So for example, maybe you are getting ready to do some squats in your workout routine. If that is the case, maybe you're gonna do some really light body weight squats. Maybe you're going to do some really light body weight squat holds. Maybe you're going to do a kettlebell goblet squat hold. All of these are different variations that are warm ups to help practice the movement. When it comes to a cool down, this is usually where I would recommend somebody to bring in that static stretching, okay? So this is what we would normally think of as the stereotypical stretching where we are just sitting and holding a joint in a specific position. Um, and usually that is not going to kind of decrease that performance of a given muscle like I talked about earlier. So it's really great to add at the end of the workout when you are essentially done challenging your muscle, done really worried about uh, that overall performance. And it's a really good way to actually uh, lower your heart rate too. That's another thing I forgot to mention when you're talking about a warm up, you want your heart rate to get elevated slightly to get blood flow through the entire body. And when you're doing static stretching, if you do that before a workout, you're basically doing the complete opposite of getting blood flow through the entire body. Uh, on top of doing some static stretching after your workout, I would highly recommend to add in some walking or some light cardio as well. That can also give you a good bang for your buck in uh, calming yourself down, calming your heart rate down, and also um, just making the end of your workout um, pretty chill because you want the end of the workout to be a time for you to decompress, to wind down, and ultimately to help you start to move into that recovery because the recovery aspect of um, workout routines is where you actually build the muscle and adapt. So some best practices and what I would recommend for a lot of individuals, because I know a lot of us are short on time, is to practice doing the movements itself and maybe some light cardio 
in your warm-up routine okay so for example if you're short on time and you are doing a bench press workout for example you're doing some bench press maybe you're doing some other upper body exercises okay great so what I would recommend to do then is maybe do three sets of just the bar three sets of ten of just the bar as a way to practice the movement and warm up the joint um, maybe you can do three sets of ten of push-ups before so it's kind of the same type of movement but it's a different movement um, it's the same movement pattern I should say but it's a different movement still very similar to the bench press though on top of uh, something along those lines some light cardio would go a really long way so maybe you could do some push-ups um, just jog in place for a minute maybe jog um, around the block depending on where you're doing this um, just do some light skipping rope and then just do a few more sets of that that's going to be for a lot of people probably the best use of time and the best bang for your buck now if you have more time God bless you hopefully you do have more time to work out uh, and if you don't have more time maybe try to find some more time to work out um, you will not uh, not be disappointed so when it comes to having more time a full dynamic stretching routine where you are doing all those exercises we talked about earlier you can look up on YouTube full dynamic stretching routine for beginners I should probably make one that'd be a good video idea um, I will get around to that at some point I'm sure but other channels will spread the wealth here um, probably have uh, some good ideas too I know I've used some some light cardio on top of that light cardio before any workout is going to be a good idea and practicing the movement so the only different thing we added here if you have more time is to just get a little bit more of a full dynamic stretching routine because this will just mobilize your joints a little more this will uh, increase blood flow through the entire body versus sometimes when you're just practicing the movement so it's a little localized in the area that's getting warmed up so instead of just warming up that one specific area more time you can do that full dynamic stretching routine and it's going to allow you to ultimately uh, warm up your entire body so you uh, might feel a little bit more better to uh, get into that workout routine so if you learned something new from that section and if finding value from this please give this video a like it greatly helps the channel and helps out others of all abilities improve their fitness and health